Hello everybody, AJ here. Today I am going to be interviewing a retired Navy pilot. Good morning, Bill. Hi. Um, hey. So why don't you start with a little bit about um, how you got into flying? Well, I was uh, Oklahoma uh, High School in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and uh, got an appointment to the Naval Academy in 1961. Because there were only uh, five guys from my state applied and none of the others could pass a physical, so by default <laughs> I went to Naval Academy, somehow graduated. And at the time there was a war going on and uh, you're just starting. And so I selected flight training and went down to jet flight training in Pensacola in 1965. A quick uh, training program uh, because they needed us out there, kind of a must pump deal. And then uh, out to uh, my squadron uh, out of Lemoore and on the Constellation and out to war within a year or so, a year and a half. So That's crazy. What would your mom think? I never asked her. I, don't know. I, didn't, <laughs> I, didn't, really tell her, I didn't tell her what I was doing. Yeah, so she didn't know. Well, and what did you major in? Well, at that time, we all had the same degree, so naval science. Interesting. I <laughs> yeah. did not know that. Yeah, nowadays, uh, you can you can pick a major, but we were all naval science. Yeah. Interesting. So why did you decide to join at that time, then? Uh, no, they took me. They yeah, took yeah, you? Yeah, I yeah. applied to all the academies, and the letter I got that accepted me was from Naval Academy. So I'm in the Navy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Fair yeah. enough. I yeah. mean, yeah. the best, like, yeah. <laughs> like we say, the best airliner, the best person uh, to work for is the one that'll hire you. one that'll hire you. That's exactly <laughs> so, it. Yeah. What was your favorite part about, about flying for the Navy? I mean... Uh, uh, gee whiz, uh, we flew neat airplanes, and uh, combat flying was very challenging. Mm -hmm. uh, shipboard flying was even more challenging and absolutely terrifying at night. Started off in the T-34, which is the first airplane we ever flew, and we've got a couple of them here yeah, at the museum. Yeah. Oh. And it was that exact airplane, the T-34B. And in 25 hours in the T-34B, we went to a single-engine jet uh, called a, a T-1, and uh, a T-2, excuse me and uh, flew the T2 for uh, 75 hours or so. And then uh, we flew uh, F9s, that was the first airplane we brought aboard the ship, and we have one of those over there. And then off to uh, A4s, which was gonna be my uh, fleet airplane. Here's one here. Yeah, uh, this, right is an a, this is an A4A, we had A4Cs look a little different. Ah. Pretty small organization, not, not too many people. Yeah, I mean, yeah. when you really think, it seems like, you know, such a big, big thing, but when you're a pilot, I mean, there's only so many of them out there. It's pretty, yeah. it's a pretty small world. You, is, yeah. you hear a name and you hear, you see some guy do something stupid, you know, that's going to yeah. carry with yeah, well, it. Well, I see a name on this. He, I knew that guy. I knew Bud. Really? <laughs> yeah, really, really? Yeah, so Roach, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so uh, anyway, you know, when I go around and see the names on the sides of the airplanes, it's somebody I knew back a long time ago. How do the names on the side of airplanes get there? Like, do you fly the exact same airplane Not at all the time? Not at all. You have a squadron with 20 guys in it. You get uh, 18 airplanes. And so the uh, commanding officer takes a 50301 first airplane in his squadron, puts his name on the side, commander so-and-so, you know. And the second airplane, 302, has the executive officer's name on it on down. When you run out of airplanes, you have the two junior guys, and one of them's got his airplane, his name on this side, and the other's on that side. And it's only for picture purposes. When you go flying, they, they could not arrange those airplanes to be ready. Because one can be down yeah, for maintenance. Yeah, so all, all that. So you all fly all the other. So you, you just, yeah, so it didn't make any difference. All the airplanes in your squadron are the same. So when it goes time for you to be on the schedule, you're flying 505 today or something. And, who, who, and it's got somebody's name on the side, doesn't matter who. But then when there. you get to take your photo for your oh, girlfriend you take, and your family, Yeah, you go yeah. stand in front of your own airplane. <laughs> when you uh, get through with your first tour, whether you're in the Air Force or the Navy, then you get to apply for some shore duty assignment. And I applied to a test pilot school. Interesting. Uh, and got two letters of rejection. And ah. uh, uh, there's two kinds of letters that you get when you get rejected. One of them says you're too dumb, and the other one says you're not a good enough uh, officer. Oh. Officer. Oh, you officer. know, your fitness reports aren't good enough. So uh, I was okay, officer, but I got these letters, two letters, two years in a row, and I was too dumb. So one day, I'm playing uh, handball over at uh, Lemoore with a fellow named uh, DJ Wright, who was a squadron mate of mine. And uh, uh, the kid that runs the handball court says, hey, you two guys, there's some commander wants to talk to both of you. Okay. So DJ is senior to me, so he talked to him first, and he says, okay, you and Siegel are going to test pilot school. Uh, and, D and DJ, which one do you want? You're senior. And he says, I'll take Patuxent River. What else you got? And he said, well, we have one at Edwards. Okay, Siegel, you're going to Edwards. You got any questions for me? Yeah, when am I going? Two weeks. Be there in two weeks. I said, I got two letters that say I'm too dumb for test pilot school. What happened? He says, well, too dumb is a relative term. So uh, all the smart guys got out of the Navy, so you're going to test pilot school, shut up and be there in two weeks, click. So T DJ and I are off to test pilot school. He went to Patuxent River, the Navy one, and I went to Edwards as an exchange pilot. 
uh, for the Air Force. For, yeah, with the Air school. Force. Yeah, test with the Air school. Force. Yeah. Incredible. That yeah, is that's incredible. funny. Sorry. So you mentioned going to test pilot school. Well, don't ever give up. You just keep trying, and who yeah. knows what'll happen. You know. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, you know, you could be at tor t halfway through your career and be able to get to go to test pilot school. Yeah. Because yeah. that, that is the one percent of the one percent. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I graduated, went off to be a test pilot for three years. You know, so uh, that was incredible. fun. Was so so year. did you? What did you enjoy more? Did you enjoy naval aviation, or did you enjoy? I mean, you were still a naval mm -hmm. aviator, but did you enjoy being a test pilot more? Uh, the uh, no, it's different, different, different. I like yeah. them both, uh, yeah. both very challenging. Uh, I kind of like the operational navy, except you're out on a ship, yeah. and we don't drink beer on ships, so, you know. So you know, at least as a test pilot, I could go on the way home. I could stop by the bar and get a beer. But, you know. Anyway, the small things like yeah. that. But they're yeah. both very challenging, and lots of fun, and uh, uh, well, you know, that kind of. That's awesome. That kind of pilot stuff, yeah. That's awesome. Well, the last question I have for you is, do you have any regrets about your career choice? Uh, no, I guess if I had to do over again, probably, you know. Uh, some days, you know, when I'm out in the, sitting on the catapult in the middle of the night and the deck is pitching and all my buddies are off being airline pilots uh, <laughs> in a hotel in Singapore, yeah. You know, I was like, yeah. why, why aren't I doing that? You know? <laughs> why am I doing this? What am I doing? This? But not, not in the overall, no. Yeah, if you, if you uh, look back, you wouldn't change Yeah, anything. no, it was too much fun. Well, then you've won, anything. right? You've yeah, won. I think so. Sure. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you, sir. I really appreciate it, and I, yeah. I love to be able to hear these stories. I'm sure everybody else will, too. So. Yeah. No, thanks for the honor of being in the interview. That's great. Awesome. <laughs> well, everybody, AJ is out. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.